Hey gang, and welcome back to the Stud Pack Custom House Build. We told you we weren't gonna move from these seats. That's we're right. We're still right here. That's right, haven't moved. Well, we got a slab, I'm ready for the next step. What are we doing? I mean, from what I understand, the next step is framing. We gotta frame this thing, right? Sure do. Yeah. But uh, I think we need some wood. I agree. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's actually a lot more that goes into ordering a lumber package for a project of this size. You can't just head down to the store and pick it up. So I'm working behind the scenes, emailing and calling and getting that all sorted out. But admittedly, it is taking a little bit longer than I would have liked. It's probably going to be a week or two until we have the lumber on site. So I, I don't know what we're going to do, man. Hmm, you know what? I got an idea. How do you feel about maybe doing some old stud pack roots, maybe like a little bathroom remodel? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm down for that. I mean, where, in Texas? You found somebody here in Texas who needs some help? It's not exactly in Texas. In fact, it's pretty far away. In fact, you're gonna need a suitcase. Welcome to the island of Kauai, gang. Oh my word. Welcome to Kauai. I'm delighted to see you guys. Jordan, Paul, oh, hold, hold on. This is a Hawaiian tradition. You gotta have one of these on. Thank you. Awesome. One of these on. You see, I got my stud pack. Nice shirt. Sure, nice right sure. I wanna show you guys what you're gonna get to do. All Come right. on up. Now you guys understand why well, I'm never wearing a shirt. <laughs> it's yeah, awesome that makes here. Makes a lot of sense yeah. now. All right, so let's check out the bathroom. Let's do it. Okay. All right, Dad, so we know this thing's gonna be giving you trouble, so let us know some things that you do not like about this bathroom. I don't, there's nothing I like about this bathroom. Uh, I hate this thing, it's too small. Um, I've never used this tub in 14 years. I need a shower somewhere, and um, the, the toilet's really old. And yeah, see that thing, it leaks down here. So uh, yeah, I just need, I need a, I need a bathroom. That's basically it. Yeah, so you rent out the bottom of your house. So having these leaks is unacceptable, right? I cannot have a leak. No, so I've had the little towel back there forever. It, it takes a shower, but it's like I gotta have curtains everywhere. So Dad, what do you think is the goal? Like what would you want by the end when we're done? I would like to have a bigger sink, a nice big one. I would like to have kind of a walk-in shower with the thing on that side yeah. over there somewhere. And then, you know, new tile because this stuff is really, really old. This house was built in the early six, uh, early 80s, actually. So it's been here a long time. Let's see what we can do for you. All right, do it. All right, here we go, gang. That was really cool. Here we go with a new bathroom remodel. But I've already got a couple of challenges ahead of me. Right here is a little pedestal sink and we pre-ordered a 30 inch wide by 18 and a half inch deep vanity and it's gonna stick out right here where my finger is and partially block this doorway. Definitely gotta figure out that one. The other issue is kind of the plumbing. It's all right here, obviously. It's gonna go on the wall over here to Jordan's right. And it's leaking, right? Lots of leaks behind the scenes? Yeah, I don't know if it's a drain leak or if it's actually water that's collecting on the tub deck and going downstairs to the uh, Airbnb unit below us. So hopefully in this video, we're able to diagnose those leaks and not only help the leaks in this bathroom, but also the unit downstairs. We also got this glass block. We yeah. cannot break any of those when we demo or do all the, all, all the new tile work. We got this corner block here. You can see how they did the detail right there. We'll probably do something different, but it sure would be nice to pick up that detail on the tile. What you think, Jordan? Oh, that'd be awesome. So we think the plumbing is PVC and we think the water lines are copper, but we won't really know until we demo this. I brought a few of my tools on the plane. Rad brought some of his tools, and we have a neighbor, an uh, awesome friend of the family. He lent us a bunch of tools. So with all those resources, all the tools, and all the help we're gonna have, we can get this bathroom remodeled in one week. Let's get to work. Okay, let's get this door out of the way. Give us a little more room, and that way we won't damage it. I got that side out, but I think I can just rip this side out of the wall, huh? Yeah, there we go. Boom. Just rip it out. Rip it. 
Look at all the different anchors, molly bolts, togglers, plastic anchors, toggle bolts, and this guy, I don't know what this was for, maybe that's a towel holder. Look at all the holes. This side too. Looks Great. like you when that's you're trying to find a stud. Oh, thanks. <laughs> a little set screw way under here, under the tile. I'll never get a tool in there. Let's see if I can use my, my fist. Just break this off. There we go. Wow. Nice. All right, gang, all the fixtures are off the wall. Let's see if we can get this old pedestal sink out of here. It's really in our way. And as you can see from the ocean air around here, anything that's steel, even if it's chrome plated when it's new, is going to turn to rust. Let's see if these old angle stops will shut off. Always be careful. I've snapped these off. I can tell this one's got a plastic stem on it. I think we'll be changing these angle stops. Yeah. I brought my tool to remove them. Yeah, I do not like the way they put this out. Even the pliers are all rusty. Look at that. <laughs> all right, we've got our water supplies disconnected. Now we've got to take off this slip joint nut to remove the drain. But see how these tabs are already broken off. So somebody either had a big pair of chin locks trying to tighten that thing, which means it's gonna be really hard for me to get it off with just my hands. But yeah, this tab, this tab is broken. Oh man. And so what's the one on, on the other side? Let's see what I can do. Nope. All right, let's see if these will open up enough. This is the only tool we have to do the whole bathroom. <laughs> there we go. Nice. nice. Should have bought a couple of shark bite caps. Okay, the bowl looks like it's separate from this, so I'm gonna try to lift up on the bowl. It looks like it's silicone <laughs> to that wall. All right, time for a knife. I right, got this Dremel Multimax tool. I'm gonna try to break the bond here of that silicone because it is stuck to the wall. Trying to be careful. I don't want to damage the drywall too much because it's just more work for ourselves. Right. right. I bet it's on a, a hanger. Oh. And I got to come straight up with it. All right. There's two screws. I should have known that. All right. But I'm out of practice on this. It's been so long. All right. I got the two bolts out. There were two wrenches in the toolbox. One of them was the size we needed, seven sixteenths. The pedestal's moving too, which is fine. Break the bond at the floor. Yeah. There we go. Now check this out. I noticed there was no pull-up stopper on here, and when we put this thing in the truck, look what they did. They put a wine cork in the stopper ah. right there. I wonder if I can tell what vintage that is. Mm, I can't. All right, everybody, the next step is to get this old fiberglass deck tub out of here. But we already know it's not gonna fit through this door in one piece, so we're gonna cut it up. We thought about cutting it this way in the thirds, but I think what I wanna do is go from here, stem to stern, Cut it in half longitudinally, get this half out, then with that gone, we can access the plumbing. Now the only shutoff is at the street, so I think it'll be a great idea for us to go out there and make sure we can turn it off before we accidentally cut a pipe, and now we're rushing trying to figure out how to turn the water off. Let's head out to the street and see if we can shut this water off. All right, here's our water main. Here's the valve. This one actually has a handle. Back where we live, you need a tool to do that. Let's see if I can get this thing to move. I'm gonna assume it's quarter turn. Oh, man. I wonder when the last time this was shut off. Oh, there it goes. Give me a check on the water line there. Open a hose bit for me. You got it. All right, we're all good. I'm gonna turn it back on. Man, this is tough. But I'm glad we did this. If we were to cut one of them water mains, like cut one of the hot and cold feet in that shower with a reciprocating saw, which we will not do. At least we know how to shut the water off. And you probably loosened it up a bit just by doing that, so. It felt a lot better when I closed it, yeah. yep, absolutely. All right, let's go back upstairs and get that tub out of that bathroom. All right, you ready? No. <laughs> Here we go. The point of no return. It'll break off though. All right, gang, we got that old fiberglass tub out of here. It was super easy cutting that thing apart and hauling it downstairs. They did the right thing here. They put some concrete, it looks like, underneath the tub so it's nice and solid. We love seeing that. A lot of times that step is missed. So let's see if we can get this thing maybe broken into two or three chunks and haul it downstairs. Oh, you got it. I'm just going to use that. That's all I got, man. <laughs> Man, I missed my boss chipping hammer. Couldn't have brought that on a plane though. All 
All right, boys, I'm gonna head to the dump. I'll see you in two hours. All right, it's time to start demoing this tile, but remember, the water's still on, so I sent right around the corner of the hardware store to get me a couple of shark bite clamps. Wish I had thrown those in my suitcase, but that's all right. He'll get those for us. We'll cap off the water. But Jordan and I are going to start removing this tile. That's right. Now, we showed up to Kauai. They told us there were two rules. No shoes allowed in the house and no power tools on Sunday. Hey, uh, Cam, can we uh, get a waiver on maybe one of those rules? I need some shoes on. Um, okay, because it's you, Paul. All right, thanks. <laughs> All right, you got my shoes on? That's a lot better. I should have work boots on, but we could not fit them in our luggage. It was crazy getting here. But check this out. All the plumbing is on this end of the tub. See the drain? Here's my hot, oh, here's my hot colds right here. So this is kind of the wet wall side. And they set it up like this with the shower on a hook because they couldn't put any plumbing by this glass block. So what we want to do is move our plumbing, our wet wall, to this side. It's going to work out pretty easy, we think, on the drain because it's already going that way. Hopefully we can tie in and put the drain right in the middle. And check this out over here. we got four pipes coming up here. A two inch, a two inch, inch and a half, and another two inch. So stay tuned, we're gonna find out what all those are for, hopefully. We do have an abandoned half inch copper here. Who knows, maybe one of these is abandoned too. But we'll find all that out when we get rid of the tile. And that's our next step. We're gonna start on the walls and work our way down. And since we gotta get in this wall and put in new plumbing for our shower head and our new valve, we're just gonna take the whole thing off. We're gonna get the buzz saw, the multi-tool, cut around the edges and see if we can get this out in one piece, one trip to the truck. Ready, Jordan? Let's do it. Woo. Get to work. So Jordan, I was thinking I was gonna bust a hole in here as a handhold and pull it out, but I think it's pretty loose. You wanna try it? Because you remember the cork in the, the, oh, in yeah. the stop, right. Oh, so. so you're thinking they, they just put two screws in the whole right. thing? It's a sign of things to come. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, we got a stud right here. Stud yeah, pegs. we do. Stud pegs, we got a stud, so right here, so I won't get all that cave in, but this is all right. Yeah, try to right. avoid it, but again, we're going to be cutting all that out. Just trying to get the tile out of here. Nice. That's a good chunk. So what you see right here is the back of some drywall, because in the kitchen on the other side, they created a recess in the wall so the refrigerator handle would open all the way out mm. so you could open the drawers. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. So that's gonna give us trouble. We can't run our plumbing in that wall. All right, challenge number two. All right, that one's free. Check this out, guy. These are drywall screws holding the cement board to the wall. Cause see how rusty they are? Yeah. If they were the proper coated cement board screw, they wouldn't be all rusty. Classic. Yep, yep, let's get this downstairs. All right, made two surgical cuts. One in this two by two right here, one on the other end. I'm just gonna see if I can push this over with my foot. Oh, we've done this before. So many times. <laughs> uh, two feet. Oh, nice. All right, go. guys, haul it downstairs. All right, I'm gonna cut these up high first, cut the hot here and the cold here, get all of this out of my way. Then we're gonna come down lower beneath the floor and cut them and put the shark bite clamps on them. I love this little guy from Compact Spaces. You brought that with you? I did. Didn't take up no space in the, that didn't. In the suitcase? I did not, that was worth bringing. I also brought this one, but it's always too big. I put it in Rad's suitcase so he gets stuck with the extra fee. Nice, look at that. That's some sculpture right there. And put the towel there. We do have a bedroom underneath us. Try to keep any water out of there. Create less work for ourselves. There we go. Rad ran around the corner to a hardware store. Got me a couple shark bite clamps. Next time we make a trip like this, definitely bring in my own. All right, now that our plumbing is capped off temporarily, let's hop back up here to the walls and see if we can get this tile off the walls without damaging the glass block. All right, we're starting to pull the tile away and the glass block is not chipping, so that's great. I'm just gonna shake a little, Jordan. You keep an eye on that. All right. I think we're good. Yeah, it's like a clean break. We're past the worst part. Let me get this top out. There we go. All the way down. Oh, nice. nice. Beautiful. Oh, pull, nice. Pulled out some of that, but we can fix that. Yeah. Ooh, it's a massive piece. Yep. And then 
That's two for right there. Woo, all right, it's time to pull this vapor barrier down that they put up behind the uh, cement board. Good thing. And reveal 40 years of Kauai plumbing history. Let's see what we got. Check that out. They're just all vents tied into one going through the roof. Nice. Nice. All right, guys, let's keep uh, pulling these walls down. Get the rest of the plywood deck up. Get the framing out of here. Get the toilet and the floor. Demo's done. All right, gang, all the demo in the shower is done. And the best surprise, there is no rotten wood. That was our biggest concern, my biggest concern, all along that long plane ride, but we're good to go. Our next project, we're going to remove the toilet and the floor. This is the toilet walk. Oh. Brad, can I just dump this right here? Oh, yeah, dude. It's clean water. It's good for the plants. Yeah, it's just like a water feature. Yeah. You know, we need more waterfalls in Hawaii. <laughs> Man, I miss that chip and hammer. Brutal. I don't see any screws. Oh, there's one. Oh. There's one. So look, there's no screws. There's another one. There's another one. Are these screws or nails? Nails. Yeah, drywall. All right, gang, we got the tile off the floor. We're all cleaned up. And then you saw us cut the subfloor to expose our ABS drain system and our hot and our cold copper lines. But all we want to do was expose it and see what we were up against as far as moving the drain for the shower and moving the supply lines for our new shower valve. Now let me stand up and I'll show you the plan. There's going to be like a pony wall here. So you're going to come in the door and go around into the shower. Shower head's going to be up here away from the window. We wanted the shower valve to be down here on this wall. But remember that pocket for the refrigerator door handle that we talked about? This is the back side of the drywall in the kitchen. So obviously we can't put it here. We could have built a new wall, but we thought it'd be a lot better. We just put the valve over here. You walk in the shower, turn it on without getting wet. It can get warm while you get undressed. So we suck it right here. And it was really the only other spot we could put it. Because as you can see, this is all full of plumbing and framing etc etc so we put a block up here pretty high because we got a rain head shower and this is already all soldered up the only way we could make it work is just to notch all the studs we'll put nail plates on them like that and if you notice check this out exterior wall in hawaii no insulation kind of wild huh and when was this house built like 40 years ago yeah probably in the modern homes i'm hoping they put in insulation but all right so like i said these are all soldered we soldered this one outside and then brought it in and soldered this one because otherwise this would have been impossible to solder. So come over here to the left. We've got the valve body positioned where I want it on this block. We've got all of it made up. So now we're going to take it apart, bring this outside and solder all these connections. So let's take all this outside, clean it and solder it all together in this tropical paradise. All right, I brought all my copper cleaning tools with me, but man, do we miss all of our PEX tools. starts to run I'll know it's the right temperature and as you can notice I took the cartridge out and all the plastic parts because they will melt there was one time I had to fix one of these and the plumber did not remove all those and I had to replace all the internal parts because they melted I think this wind is cooling this stuff off because it takes a long time to heat this up I know I got a little baby torch but seven hours from the mainland on an airplane so we just brought the bare minimum with us all right we'll see you when this thing is soldered all right there we go all soldered up I'm going to drop these into the holes at the bottom. And then we had to cut this out, obviously, because we couldn't push it far enough down to get this in there. So we just cut it out. No big deal. Another nail plate. We'll make up this top connection and the shower side of it will be done. All it's left to do is to make our tie ends in the hot and cold down there. Man, I need some chin locks. Hang on. They're outside. All right, gang, we got the shower drop ear 90 put in. We piped everything all the way to the valve body. Now we're working down and we're making our tie-ins to the hot and the cold. And it was just a matter of making a right hand turn. We've already made up the cold right here. And now it's time to make up the hot. Now, remodels are tough enough anyway, right? 
But when you're on the road, when you're in the middle of an ocean and you don't have any of your own tools, it just makes it that much harder because you're dealing with whatever you can find, especially dull drill bits. Check this out. I've already done this one, so I know how this thing goes. I'm pushing as hard as I can. Yeah. Whew. Now I appreciate the use of all these tools and we got that done. All right, now it's time to measure from this piece of copper, which is our hot feed to the shower valve, all the way to this one, our supply line. I'm gonna put in my 90s, cut this one, measure the pipe. We have two more joints to solder up. We can turn the water back on. All right, guys, working with copper in 2023 is kind of rough, especially after we did that whole bathroom with that Upanor PEX A. We would have been done, what, two days ago with this? And this morning here on Hawaii, we're really fighting this copper. We didn't buy any couplings, and I'm having a hard time getting this in that hole. But pretty easy solution without going back to the store. I drilled a hole over here a little higher and go through that way, go through that way. Now I'm home free. And the other thing we're fighting in these tight spaces is assembling everything. We can measure it pretty good, but getting these fittings on there is really tough. We think it's a two-fold problem. We think this is a little bit out of round, and we also think we're fighting the tools. I've got my two different types of tubing cutters. This style has a roller right there, which smooths out any burr on the pipe. This type does not have that roller, so it doesn't smooth out the burr. I think what I'm fighting is a little burr, and I can just feel it on the end of the pipe. So we got a file here, and I'm gonna remove that burr, and see if the fittings go together easier because I'm tired of fighting this copper under this floor. Let me file these off and see if it's easier and we'll finish this last connection. All right, I filed the burr off, now check this out. Way easier. All right, now we're gonna clean everything one more time, flux it all and solder these last two 90s. We're done with the copper, we can turn the water back on, we're gonna flush it out like we always do and move on to our next step. It takes two of us to solder. The bottle is so full of liquid, if we tip it even more, the liquid starts to feed and the flame won't light. So Jordan's good at that. I'm good at this. Yeah. We're gonna tag team it. Yeah. Easy. We're home. All right, all the copper is plumbed up and we wanna turn the water back on to the house. But there's one more thing we gotta do first. We have to plug this up. This fitting called a drop ear 90, that's where your shower head screws on. So we're gonna put a threaded nipple on there a little pipe dope on there. Don't really need it, but I want to make sure it doesn't leak. We'll tighten that with a wrench. Now we'll go out to the curb, turn it on at the meter, turn our handle on with a five gallon bucket and flush any trash out of here so it doesn't get caught in the little holes in the shower head. All right, copper is done, water's back on. And as you can see, we had a little excitement, got kind of wet, but everything is under control. Our next step is the drain for the shower. Since we're using a pre-manufactured pan by Schluter, the drain is actually in the center. And guess where the center is of our new shower? Right there. So this is the vent for the toilet. So all we gotta do, we're gonna cut this section of pipe out between my fingers, install the trap right there into this line, and we're gonna reroute the vent around our pipe. Shouldn't be too bad, let's get started. Got my first cut done, can't cut it flush because I need a shoulder to slide the hub on from a new fitting. Yeah, good thinking. Yep. All right, all glued up. Got a mark here, center line that way. Mark here, my other center line. Put these together. I'm gonna put it on here and then line them up just by eyeballing the center. Rotating the trap clockwise. Look pretty good, huh, Jordan? Yep. You like it? Yep. I'm just gonna hold it for a second, let it set up. And I can use the piece I cut off as my riser. Uh-oh, why are we loose? Dang it, I didn't glue it. Okay, you got your chance, bud. <laughs> Dad forgot to glue a joint. <laughs> There's a lot of joints, though. There are. I did that just for you, so we would have something to film. Some content? That's right. Some drama? I was thinking about you. Nah. There we go. All right, now we're in. I'm gonna roll this back. You gotta always remember to put that on first. Not that I've ever done that and forgotten to put that on. Right, what do you think? 
Offset enough for the drain? I think so. It's going to be tight, though. Those yeah, yeah. I mean, look, at the, the look at this. We got everything right here in the middle, just like always. So our whole goal for doing this was to account for all this bell part of the drain. Check it out. Boom. Perfect. Just like we planned it, not a quarter inch to spare. Plumbing is done. Let's move on to some framing. All right, our first step in the framing process is to recess the subfloor because we want a zero entry shower, no curb, no step, super safe. First thing we gotta do, we're gonna cut out this piece of subfloor I'm standing on with my right foot on that line. Then we're gonna get over here in this corner, clean up that one and see where we're at. All right guys, got the box out of our way. Remember, zero entry shower. We're gonna drop the subfloor, five eighths of an inch. Going old school with a circular saw and a chisel, making a series of cuts and knocking them out. You can see we already did this one. It's pretty good. Not perfect, but it's gonna be fine for this shower. Also, we get a lot of comments about cutting beams. These things are massive. This is not going anywhere. Look at this triple pack right here. Very strong. Let's get this done. We got all our beams recessed. I'm gonna go downstairs and start cutting some blocking. So we need something here to hold up our plywood, and something over in the corners, kind of everywhere. So while I go downstairs and do that, I've already got my cut list. Jordan Rad are gonna get in here, clean up, make it look pretty. We'll put in our blocking and we're ready for a single sheet of plywood. This thing's gonna be a lot stronger when we're done than it was when we started. All right, all our blocking is in and we have a bunch and we have a little bit of everything. Let's start over here on the right. We got this two by four on the flat and I put this rabbit in here. The rabbit's gonna give us our drop and then right here where my hand is is where the plywood's gonna be and we'll screw it into there. Moving over to this one, it got pretty eaten up by termites. They're not here any longer. So we put a two by four on the side just to give us a place for our screws to have nice purchase. I had to notch it around this uh, vent line and the water line. Moving over, we got this two by, what is that, a 10? Notched it a little bit, perfect. We got the triple pack here, notched it a little rougher, but it's gonna be fine. And then where I am used to be the outdoor porch or the deck of the house. So it is sloped out in this direction for drainage. So I had to cut some shims here so that this thing is nice and level. We think this was a half bath originally, and at some point they made it a full bath. Got some blocking here to support the plywood. Of course, this is gonna be plywood. Right here, I made it really strong with this block because this is the entrance to the shower, didn't want any flex. So we met our goal, got all the blocking in, nice and level. Now we're ready to put our post in for the end of our pony wall right here. We're using this four by four post and we're gonna bolt it all the way through these three two by tens with two half inch pieces of threaded rod. And why are we bolting a four by four down there? What's the four by four? We're gonna have a six foot eight wall right here and it's gonna end right here. So you're gonna come into the bathroom and you're gonna walk into the shower. Just like the one Jordan and I did at my mom's, if you remember watching that video. This four by four is gonna be the anchor for the end of our wall. We wanted it really strong. So we're gonna through bolt it with half inch threaded rod all the way through these guys. All our holes are drilled. We're just gonna drop it in, plumb it, drive those bolts on, put the nuts on each side. Why can't we use like glass and pick up some room or something like that? Can't get it here, it takes forever. We're on the middle so of an island. We're just gonna build it. Right. Yeah. We, we learned that you have to use what's available on the island. Or and order it way ahead of time. Right. And we did that with a couple of things. But you know what was crazy going to the Home Depot? We were walking around there, pallets of cement, pallets of plywood, two by fours, drywall, everything in that store came here on a boat. All right, ready to drop the post in and I had to notch it on the table saw because we got a hanger down there and we didn't want it hitting the hanger and then this thing being like skewed or out of plumb. All right, y'all ready? There we go. Yeah, it's 5'8". Come on, Rad. I thought you were strong, dude. Dude, it's not going in anymore. I don't know what's going on. Are you in all the way? Yeah, definitely. Go check it out. Oh, you're in all the way, dude. Uh, you're hitting the other block. Uh, oh, uh, oh. How are we looking? It's really 
good. Check it the other way just for giggles. We've got nowhere to attach our wall because this is all drywall. I thought we were going to be at least up to here with our pony wall. Oops, but we're not. So we're going to glue it and screw it to the drywall. I'm not too thrilled about it, but I think we're going to be fine. Oh, what's with this glue? Ugh. <laughs> Pulled out the old stud pack laser, brought it all the way from Texas. Right, you'll hold that and I'll go around and screw sure. it off. Okay. Right there. All right. All right. Six and an eight. Yeah. All right. Here's our top plate. It's already cut to length. We just line up the end of our post or the edge of our post with the end of our top plate. This will be plumb. A couple screws in the top. A couple studs right there. We can lay our floor. We'll be laying tile tomorrow. We'll be showering here tomorrow night, guys. You Let's know go. You lie to yourself. Well, you know that. Absolutely. They don't hold too good in that end grain, huh? No, they do not. Put a couple more. Put six more in there. Six more? Yeah, Coming up. All right, gang, our wall is all built. It is the next day and we are ready to put the plywood subfloor down. So excited about that because this was quite a mission getting to this point. All the framing and the plumbing challenges and the slope porch, but we got it done. And uh, this wall is super strong. Check it out. It's even stronger since the liquid nails dried right here, but we're gonna make it even stronger because remember, we ordered a vanity. It's being shipped here to Kauai, but it's 18 and a half inches deep and it's gonna stick out about this far in the doorway and people are gonna knock their leg on it when they come in and out of the bathroom. Can't have that. So we've come up with a plan to push it into the wall around all the plumbing, uh, around all the framing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It's gonna be pretty epic how we slide that vanity in the wall and you can't even tell. I've got my CAD drawing of the piece of plywood I need. So let's head downstairs and cut it but we have to be quiet because no power tools are allowed on the island on Sundays. Let's go do it. All right guys, we're all marked out, ready to cut. I'm gonna close our garage door. We have garage door openers here in Hawaii. This is old school, man. There we go. I got my uh, circular saw in stealth mode so we won't make too much noise. And here we go. All right. You gonna finish that up with the recep upstairs? Sure. All right, some nice clean corners. All right, that was fun. How do we get out of here? No, no handle. All right, gang, we've got a really nice fit. Super pleased with that. So right now we're gonna tip it back up, mark where all of our joists, our blocking are, so we can get a screw in it, put down some construction adhesive, and then screw this thing down for good. Nice. Oh yeah, even just the liquid nails help. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good job. Cool. Here we go. Yep. Guys, you can kind of see the transition we're dealing with between the recessed flat shower sub base, the plywood, and our old porch right here. I'm gonna put in this little filler strip. Looking pretty good. Then we got one more little wall to build, and then it's time for backer board and drywall. Look at this. Finally standing on a nice, strong subfloor. It was a lot of work to get there, especially with all the shimming and blocking we had to do to get it perfectly level. As you can see on the level, we dialed it in perfectly. And it's important for us for two reasons, right? We're using a pre-manufactured foam pan with waterproofing on top. It has to be on a level surface to drain properly. If this is sloped, our slope pan isn't gonna go to the drain. It's gonna end up in the corner behind me or over there. 
And the second reason we want it nice and flat is so that our tile job goes better. When things are flat and square and plumb and parallel, it transfers to your tile job and it's going to look great. Last thing for us is to build a short pony wall right over here. So why are we building another pony wall? Well, we need a space to store shampoo, soaps, all that. Now, we always like to put in a niche wherever we can. Some of them have lights, some do not. But in this shower, we can't put a niche here because of the glass block. This wall's all taken up. Glass block, shower valve, studs, vent. Could put one here, but the wire's in the way. Too much trouble to move it. Can't put one here because this is just a single layer of drywall. On the other side of that is a pocket for the refrigerator handle. We could put one here, but that's gonna be a grab bar. We didn't want it to interfere. So all we're gonna do is build a little wall right here, like that, and he'll have a shelf all the way across, just like we did at my friend's shower. Let's bring all these outside, pre-assemble them, bring in the whole wall, stick it in, we're done framing. All right, let's go pop this thing in. <laughs> pretty strong and with that gang our shampoo ledge is in and this bathroom is taking shape let me come on out of the shower here we have done a tremendous amount of work in three days all the demo all the rough plumbing all the framing all the while while working hard and playing hard here on the island of Kauai and the working hard is going to continue as we prep that bath for waterproofing and finally start laying some of the beautiful tile that they picked out. So put a lay around your like button, smash it for us, ask a question, drop a comment, please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out studpack.com for merch and we'll see you on the next Studpack video right here from Kauai.